Hello guys, welcome to the last game of Panama's World Cup group stage. Not World Cup, because we're going to beat Croatia. We're going to thrash them 8-0. You watch and find out, but look at their team. I don't know how we're going to beat it. There's not one player in that team who would not make it into the Panama team. Uh, every position they are superior to us. So it's going to have to come down to the heart. It's going to have to come down to how hard we try. Uh, they've got a very, very good team. Let's just get into it. We need to win. It's a must-win game if we want to proceed. But if you didn't watch last episode, we did actually beat Ghana. So um, we hopefully we won't finish it last. We're going to have to hope uh, Holland beat Ghana. But we're not thinking about not going through because we're going to go through. That's what we're going to do. We played dirty tactics last time. We went... Very defensive after going 1 0 up about 20 minutes here. We've done a Jose Mourinho there. Um, but as you can see now, we're attacking early on again. And then Cooper almost scores again. Cooper's been the star for us this World Cup. I think I'm definitely going to have to bring him to the next team I manage. Um, yes, 0 0 now. Um, you guys still got to let me know what team I'm going to manage after this World Cup. We have to win. It's a must win game, this. Um, I don't want to be knocked out in the group stage. Even though we've won, I want to cause some magic. It's all about the world rankings, really, for the next part of the challenge. It's about getting that youth in now. And Perisic has just scored, so we've got scored. Oh, he's offside. He was offside. We've got to wave it. And they've scored a goal. And for some reason, the football manager, the director's camera didn't show me. They didn't want to show the goal, maybe because it was so shit. And even the replay. Oh, come on, football manager. What are you even doing? What is the point of that? What? But yet again, another goal from a fucking corner. Is that the fourth of this World Cup? Four, four out of five we conceded from corners. Someone's got to help me out there. Someone's got to help me out. We're losing one nil. We've got to score two goals. It is a must-win game. Um, I might just go crazy and go overload. Should I? Let's have some fun in this last game of our World Cup. No! Last game of the group stage and Modric just made it 2-0. Yeah, let's just play. We've just got to play football now. Um, we've got to, we've got to get a goal. We, two all. We've got to at least make it to two all, and then, and then we'll work our way from there. Two all before half time. No, it's never going to happen, is it? Majaya now plays in Moreno. Moreno plays in Gomez. Torres plays in Barajona. Torres, the other Torres drops it. He's a bit of a Fernando Torres. I tell you that. Uh, uh, Koluka now, Kovacic, Modric, Kovacic again, they're passing it around nicely and a great interception there by Moreno, Torres plays in Luis Henrique and Lovren picks it out and this looks like it's going to be a very horrible game to watch as it is now 3-0 to Croatia. I wouldn't be surprised if we lose this one 6-0. Let's go counter. See if that works. Modric, if you score another guy from corner, I, 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 I don't know what I'll do. And, oh, what, may, may I, you have been sublime. Look at all those saves he has made. That is amazing. Good boy, good boy. He's only, he's conceded three, but he's making some fabulous saves. The defensive line in front of him has been worse. The midfield has been worse. Um, not keeping the ball. I expect to see a much better shot from you in the first, next game. Blah, 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 blah whatever. Um, Holland are beating Ghana, so it looks like we will not finish bottom of this group, which is an achievement. I'm happy with that. And uh, they kick off up the highlight speeds, because I don't think this is a game we're going to want to watch now. Um, after that fabulous game y yesterday I showed you, we now settle for this. Another whitewash. So we've had an awful game, a good game, and an awful game. Um... You take the good with the bad, don't you? We didn't go through, but at least we've gave ourselves a stepping stone for next seat, next World Cup. Hopefully, we'll get out of the group stage next World Cup, and then the next World Cup, hopefully, we'll make it to a semi-final or something like that. It's aspirations, but we've got to start working on that. You three, Jen, now. Cooper almost gets the second goal of the World Cup. Cooper's been fantastic. He's been our player. He really has. He looks amazing. Um, whatever club I manage, Bayern or Juventus, whatever you guys decide, I haven't looked at the comments yet, I will... Bring him in, I think. I think I'm going to bring him in. I don't know why he's been playing as a defensive midfielder at club level. What are they thinking? I don't understand. Um, so it looks like this game's going to run out 3-0. A pretty horrible game as in, for you guys to watch. I'm sorry about that. But it's been a nice little World Cup. It was better than me than just showing you the three results in one episode, I thought. Um, we've seen what players... 
have done well. Majai has done well. Cooper's done well. Um, Chen has done well. I think they had a three players I'll try and bring in who are currently in the Panama squad. And then it's about focusing on the youth recruitment and making sure we're getting as much uh, Panama Panama talent coming through the youth academies at the next club we manage. Um, so that's the end of us at Porto. That's the end. Oh, that's pissed them off. Well, good job. I'm going to retire then, isn't it? <laughs> I'm leaving out on a bang, shall we say. Uh, make sure you name the manager as well. I haven't read the comments, so I'm filming this all in one go. Um, and that's the end of the World Cup for us, unfortunately. Um, We've done better than I expected. We had three teams which are much more superior to us. Um, Ghana, we got the better of, which was nice. And we lost to Croatia, who are ranked sixth. And we lost to Holland, who are ranked third. So we can't really complain when we're ranked 40th. Um, to sum it up, some players have done well. I'll show you the players that have done well. Majaya, I showed you him as well. Definitely going to try and bring him in. He looks like he could be a very good goalkeeper um, if he's nurtured correctly. Baloy, I think this is the last time we're going to see of him. He's only going to get old now. He's, he's on his way down. Um, there's no point focusing on him anymore. He's an old dog. Chen, hopefully he'll become a very good centre-back. He's only 20 years of age. Um, Jose Flores, not sure about this guy. Not sure whether he's worth nurturing, but he's definitely one to keep an eye on. Um... Cooper, you know, 26 years of age, but I think he might be worth bringing him in or at least getting him some European football. Bringing him in, sending him out on loan, making sure he's getting good football. Um, so he's got he's got to come to Europe. I want him to come to Europe because he's a good player. Um, who else has done well? A lot of old players in this squad. The young guy here, Segundo, who didn't play once, so there's no point really looking at him. Um, hopefully the youngsters will step up. We bought him Barajona as well. We bought him from uh, Porto. He um, played once, so he wasn't really that great. Didn't really play much at all, to be honest. That's probably why he didn't play great. Uh, he hasn't, doesn't look too great. And, um, yeah, that's it, really. We've got a lot of strikers who are going to be very old. Gabriel Torres, um, he's playing very well in uh, the MLS. So, hopefully, he'll keep that up. I think he's doing well in the MLS. He's worth staying there. We've got two old guys here who probably will say goodbye to. Tejada and Blas Perez. Uh, who was actually, I think he was a Mexican start off the save. No, he wasn't. Um, so, saying goodbye to Blas Perez. Um, ne so, it's time for the next, ne next, next generation of Panama players to come through. It's been a good World Cup. Um, it's been a good good year with Porto, to be honest. The squad reacted ne negatively. I think we'll do that. Um, we've done well. I want to see how what the board sort of thought of that with the World Cup. Yeah, we were competitive. We were competitive. We um, we didn't get mugged off like we were expected to or like I expected to. But now on to Bayern Munich or Juventus. I think it's probably going to be Bayern Munich unless the comments really, really changed my mind. Um, uh, I'm looking forward to it. Make sure you stay tuned in to this channel. Hopefully the next episode. Well, I'll do an episode. Um, yeah, the next episode will probably be about a, uh, a, a, week, a week or two weeks away. Hopefully less than that. I'll try and go through it as quickly as possible. Uh, make sure you comment on all the other series as well, guys. I'll see you later, boys. Bye-bye.